What's up guys, it's your boy. In this video, I'm gonna do a super dispatch tutorial on the electronic bill of lading that I use on my phone. I use this for all my loads. We all use it for all our loads and it works great. Um, I had this to be released yesterday, but um, Kendall Enterprise actually, it, it was weird because he released the desktop version um, yesterday. So, like a little showing you what it was. So, I decided to hold off or didn't do it today. So, here's the tutorial. If you have any questions, I'll let your boy in the comments. Let me know, what are you using for your electronic bill of lading? You're federally mandated to have a bill of lading for everything that's on your truck. Make sure you have it. So let's get into this video. Alright guys. Let's check out. Super Dispatch. Wait a minute. Does a dum dum not even have Super Dispatch? There it be. Super Dispatch. Alright. So we're just going to do a quick little tutorial on it. I love Super Dispatch. I used to use Carshipio. Carshipio was... In my opinion, not customer friendly, not, um, it just wasn't for the right reasons. Car Shipio wants you to pay for them to do stuff to their service, you know, and then if something happens and you drop their, their service, they will not give you your files. They, they refuse to give me my 2018 files. So, we're in... Uh, super dispatch here these top four are loads that I have yet to pick up but now I don't know if you I'm sure you can see it but this top one here I've actually done a demo just to show you guys I am not running these cars from Missouri to California for 340 COD I promise you that's not me. So, all right, what we got here, this is your main screen. These are the bottom two, the yellow, as you see on the right-hand side. They are picked up already. Now, we're going to start at the top of the screen. You have the orders, and on the right here, you have new orders, and then you have a refresh button if you want to refresh it. This is my active orders. Okay, this is my delivered orders. Now, these are my paid delivered orders. And you see over here, it says delivered, 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 delivered. I've been a busy, busy bumblebee. Now, pay. Pay. Just pay me, sucker. All right. Now, archive. Archive. We don't archive stuff. Not really. All right, so you got that. Now, if you want to make a new order... Just type new order. Now you can put all your information in. You can import right from central. Do this for you real quick just so you can see. Dun, 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 dun. I gave it enough time. Back to Super. So, you can import it. If you Google it, it'll tell you how to import it. But, pretty much, you just go to Central. You click on it. Make sure you accept it. If not, it will import the files without the information. It will do it. Um, so, make sure you accept the load first and then you just want to go go to where it says print and then it'll say send the super dispatch boom shows up now in here i can add my pickup delivery shipper payment add expenses this here is our favorite part this bottom add attachments i can add anything 
pictures of the title, pictures of the paperwork, pictures of whatever. Uh, whatever I have, I can put there for attachments. So, um, you can send them status updates. We don't, but you can. And you can actually, with this system, hit this scan bin. And it will literally... It may not do it because I'm recording. But it pulls up a like a, a picture of the camera. And you can scan it and it will read it automatically. So let's go into this is my demo order. We're going to start with the Thunderbird. So this is a 53 Thunderbird. We're going to say this thing is smashed. Right? So now we're going to click on that. And we're going to do our inspection. This is the interior pickup condition as you see at the top. Okay. So now what you'll do is. Let's say I want to mark damage. Click mark damage. And let's say it's on the hood. You just tap on the hood. It's got a dent. Boom. Lights broke. Do, 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 do. Broken. Wheel scuffed scuffed um i don't know bumpers cracked like you guys get the point this is just all of that stuff um and now you can you just go around and you do the whole entire car right so you got scratch multiple scratches dents chip major damage crack scuff rubbed foreign fluid missing broken faded flat tire gouges Hail damage, loose contents, rust, other. Now, personally, I don't do rust. I don't do faded. I don't do stuff that I'm not, can't be responsible for. But the most important part of a car to look at is under that front bumper. Either turn your camera around to the forward-facing camera and look or get down and look. Because Mercedes, BMW, any cars that are kind of low, they get scuffed in transport. Well, they don't look at that. But once you transport it, the person that is checking it in, I bet you they will check. Or the customer will look. Whether it's there or not. If you don't have proof. You're SOL. So do yourself a favor. And always do that. So all right, we're done here. That's how you do the inspection. You know just whatever. Okay. So now we're done there. Let's do this. Let me show you something. It's really cool here. You can do it that way. Or So let's take. Alright. We took a picture right boom so now we can go to this picture and we can tap mark damages well this chrome here has a chip on it boom there it is right in the flesh you know so you know this this app has thought of it all dang Chipped wheels. Now you see down here in the bottom left hand corner, it's time stamped. See that? Boom. Time stamp. They can't say, oh, you just did that. Nope. You got them. And it will even tell them where you took the picture. So make sure you allow this to see your location. I know people don't like that. But that will cover you, I promise. And it will be well, well worth it. So, you get the point. You can do, you know, mark whatever you want to mark. Boom, boom, boom. Done. Okay? Now, you don't like that picture. You retake it. And now you get a better one. Now, add a photo. It gives you different angles. Every time it usually tells you like the different angle it does the first two and then you got to do your own after that 
So, then you, you know, we've already shown this. So, that's your inspection. Now, when you're done your exterior pickup inspection, now you go, this is your interior. Your odometer, your notes, one key. No title. Title mailed. Whatever. It's drivable. There's no windscreen. Yes, all the glass is there. No title. Two keys. One remote. Five headrest. No cargo cover. Yes, spare tire. Yes, the radio. No manuals. No, no, no. Boom. That's that. Now you save it. Now when you do that, you're going to come back to your inspection. Well, you're done with your inspection, so you go back. So now you do your other car. Same thing. Scuffed. Major damage. That's my favorite one, multiple scratches. <laughs> Scratched. Now... Even if you do this, guys, take pictures. Your eyes lie to you. My eyes lie to me. Your camera will not lie to you. I can't tell you how many times I have taken a picture, didn't see nothing wrong with the car. I get up there, they're like, there's a scratch here. I'm like, I, I, I don't know. Let's check. You go to this picture, you zoom in, boom, it's there. They can't argue with you. Yes, you didn't know about it, but you have proof. C-Y-A. That's all. Now we do the same thing here, and then we'll hit C. And now we're done. Look, this app is so easy. It's so great. Like, we love it. We love it. Save it, and you go back. Now, this is your... Obviously, like I said, this is your pickup, your drop-off, and the shipper, and your payment information. Now, you can edit your payment. Let's say you get there and something's going on. They're like, look, there was a confusion. It says COD, but it was really a ACH. You change this before anything because you want them to sign that it's an ACH you don't want to leave this as a COD when you're not going to get paid or if it's a COP and it turns to a COD everything must be in writing or on the screen everything must be documented guys there unfortunately there are people that are scam artists and con artists and they too move cars not ship cars move like not as a carrier but as a customer sorry so that's that now let's say we verify the address and it's wrong okay we can go in here and edit boom now here is one of my favorite parts if you're having a problem with like putting that in your gps you hit the map it pulls up my google maps Boom. Tells me where I'm going. Now, this probably will not because of the address. But, under normal circumstances, it will tell you that. Now, you can zoom in and see what you're dealing with. Like, check this out. I mean, I know it's Google, but usually you can zoom in closer. You can see the driveways. You can see what's in the way. You can see everything. Uh, it's great. I love it, love it, love it. Love it, love it, long time. Love it, love it, long time. So, that's that. You can edit whatever you want to edit. Now, once you documented this pickup, once they've signed, you cannot edit your pickup that is why you take pictures 
because you, and it does happen all the, not all the time, but it happens. You'll look at it on the ground and it'll look like one thing. You'll get it up on your trailer and you'll see something because now it's at eye level. Well, if you've got pictures from before, you're good. Now, I also, in that kind of situation, if it's something that I really couldn't have messed up and I'm still there, take a picture with the destination in the background, the shipper in the background, whatever you can do to prove where you are. Put a clock with the date and the time, maybe. Put your phone, whatever. Prove where you are at that time. Okay? So now we're done here. Now let's say... It's a three car load, but you didn't have the the other one. Well, you can. You can add a car. Put in your VIN, your VIN, the VIN year, make, model. Let's do the ding ding. And it's a 18. Fold on road. No, 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 not found on road. No, 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 no. It's a 350. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm really not. <laughs> Pickup truck. Boom, boom, boom. Save. There's your third car. There's the ding, ding. Right there. All right. So now you're good. I'm gonna hit next. Now. You didn't do an inspection on the ding ding. So you can either continue without inspecting it or you can hit cancel and then do your inspection. Now if you hit um, view details, it's going to show up everything you went over. So let's say you did it over at the car and the customer was in the house and he wants to see what's what. Boom. There it is. And if you do it up here, boom. There's the pictures with it marked, sir. Alright, so now we're going to go. Everything's done. We're cool. We're Gucci. We're ready to load. We're ready to ride. Next. Yes, we don't want to inspect that truck. It's okay. So now, here's your pickup information. Boom, boom, boom. Everything. Verify. Verify the phone number. Obviously, the address is right because you're there, but... This phone number is important because if you get down the road and you can't get a hold of the drop-off, you want to make sure you have the right pickup. Or if you call the drop-off and they're like, hey, that's not the deal, you want to be able to call all parties and verify it. Now, let's say you were supposed to pick up the title. Yes, you put no title, but you put right here, customer states no title. Or you could put, let's say they paid early. Paid cash, boom, boom, boom. Paid with check number, boom. Okay? That's that. So now, if they want, they may want a copy of this. So you can either put their email in, or we're going to get to that too. So now, you can mark customer not available, and it's going to show up as STI. Or, you hit... Add customer signature. And then you'll type their name in. Mr. Hoochie Hoochie. Right? And now you sign Hoochie Hoochie. Now, let me tell you what I do. If I go to Copart, if I go to these auctions where they won't sign, I will put... Manager, refuse. Then I will write, refuse. I don't put they're not available because they are available. They just refuse. And if you're doing like lease returns, nine times out of ten they will not sign because then they are taking responsibility for damage on this vehicle that maybe the original inspector did not catch. So... Manager, refuse. Yard man, refuse. Secretary, refuse. Whoever it is, they refuse and you type 
refused. Save it. Boom. Now you got your customer signature. Now it's when you do your app, you're always gonna have your driver's signature is just safe. So now we're done. We're good. We're picking it up. All right. Hot shot. Bing, boom. And now you see down here, driver's signature's done. Pick it up, pick it up. So now, <clears throat> let's say they want the email sent. They want a copy of this. They want to know what time it is. You know what I mean? They want to know what's what. So there's that. So now, on my phone, I have this set up. So it sends me a text message or a notification saying, Vehicle Ding Ding has been added to your order, demo order. That's the notification I got. Right? Right? So, you got their email here. They want you to send it. Great. Not if you don't have it, you just go here, start typing. Boom. Now let's say there's attachments and they want a copy of the title. Include attachments and whatever attachments are there will show up here. All right. Show customer and shipper on the BOL header. Boom. That's that. may not work now and this is what the BOLs from Super Dispatch look like there it is so but me like your company will be over here in the top right hand corner and there's going to be one for every single car okay Every car gets its own one, which is great if you ask me, you know, so that's that you're covered. Like, everything you need is here, is right here. Now, there is more to Super Dispatch, but I cannot show you because I am not um, an admin. I don't do that other stuff, and we don't have the hours of service and... We don't have, there's a load board. We don't have that set up and all that. So, that's how it is. It's simple. Now, now it's picked up. You're going to repeat the same process. You're going to do your inspection. Then you'll do it again. Now, let's say there's damage now. Here. See that? It's a different color. That's drop-off damage. That's... Your butt. Now you done it. Now you have two different uh, whatchamacallits. And you do the same thing. But hope to God you never have to do that. So we're done. Now boom. It's all that you can change your odometer. Or most of the time it ain't going to change unless you're joyriding. You know and then it's all the same. It's safe. Now. Let's say I don't do an inspection. Go to next. And I just want to deliver it. I add the customer signature. Now, there is no refusal on this. If you don't sign, you don't get the car, i.e. the customer. No customer can refuse signatures, at least in my world. Because if they don't sign, you're liable. So, sign. And then sign. Then you're done. Deliver. That's that. Now. You can invoice it. You can send it to whoever. Right? Or now it's over here in the delivered, I think. Yeah. Now it's delivered, and you can go to your BOL, send it to whoever, or you can see it again. It's that simple. Guys, we as a company love 
Super Dispatch. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. I'll just delete that. Now, and I can delete orders also. You know, like, let's say one of these cars canceled. Well, I can delete them, and it's not a problem. So, guys, if you're looking for an EPOB, Super Dispatch is our favorite. Like I said, I've used others, and I've used paper, and by far, this is my fave fave. So, that's the tutorial. That's how it works, and like I said, there's more stuff I just can't show you. There should be others out there that are showing you. If not, and you do this, you're going to have to see Call Super. But, their load board is pretty, you know, it's it's the P, it's certain shippers, it's not everybody. Um, I actually had their um, ELD here, but I never installed it. Well, I tried to install it, and it didn't work, so we sent them back. Um, so that's that i hope you guys got something out of it i hope you liked it and uh yeah that's that now we can go back to my ugly mug all right guys hope you enjoyed it like share subscribe oh yeah hit that ding ding we will see you tomorrow peace